So I'm standing outside of the Yards Brewery. Uh, in addition to the products they offer city and suburb, suburb wide, uh, they also offer the actual brewing place that they have as a sort of tour slash bar. Um, it's an interesting product that they do and offer outside of just the drink. So why don't we go inside? Lay back. Some sequins gin. Everybody got their cups, but they ain't chipped in. Now this type of fish happens all the time. You gotta get yours before I gotta. Alright, so I am with. I'm Ben. Ben, Christian, yeah. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, ben, how long have you worked here? I've worked here about two years. All right, and what is your position? I'm a bartender. Nice. Um, so Ben, what are people's general opinions of the place while here and leaving? Uh, people tend to really like the place. We've tried to make the place something that's. Uh, Something that's comfortable, that everyone can just hang out for a while in. Uh, relax, try the beers. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, a lot of big, burly men serving you drinks. Lots of, lots of big, burly men serving you drinks is what you want. Yeah, yeah. with uh, Robin and Alan. Alan from New York in visiting. Um, what can brings you guys to the Yards Brewery? So we looked up uh, you know, craft brewery in uh, Philly. Okay. And uh, instead of going to a winery, we wanted to go to a brewery. Okay. And uh, this place came up and we saw it on the internet and it was great. So. Okay. Uh, do you know when you searched? Uh, did you have to do any digging to find yards? Um, let's see, it came up first. Okay. There are uh, breweries in uh, Philly. Living in Philadelphia, working at a bar myself that we carry a bunch of the, uh, right. the different craft beers from around the city. So, um, what would you say is the general age range you see drinking yards? I think it varies. I think definitely you have your your 20 to 30 year old people who are yeah. definitely backers of the variety and the kind of hip nature of some of the stuff they're putting out. But I also think you have um, older people who who have enjoyed. Yards comes up with with the revolutionary ales and okay. what kind of varieties they come up with. Do you like the revolutionary ales? Do you think there's um, an added bonus to the revolutionary ale being popular in this area? You know, with the, the history of Philadelphia? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think it's kind of special. You know, they found these old recipes that related to the revolutionary time. Right. And sort of modernized them. So it's one of the things I'm looking for. And what is your name, huh? Jamie, Christian, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How long have you been here, Jamie? Three hours. I think, you know, Philly is, Philly's a town that has, uh, it's, it's, there's so many abandoned factories and abandoned workplaces, and I think, I think the, the local town is very proud to have something that's made and manufactured here in the city.